is happening as far as getting a permanent tenant sports team? At well, you know, my, my uh, niece works for the New Jersey Nets. Uh, I've been talking to her about you know, too many teams in the New York metropolitan area. <laughs> also, uh, there is some discussion of going along with the Islanders. They have a little situation with their facility. I don't see many cities building brand new arenas right now, especially in Uniondale. But, you know, we're going to get into my wiki and kind of wait until the season gets close to ending and then go out and really start talking to people. You don't really try to go and get a team right in the middle of the season because, uh, they don't really talk to you, but they're talking about operations through the year. But we're working very hard to get an anchor tenant and uh, either, you know, basketball or football hockey. But uh, it's something we're still working on. And I tell you this, I, I think that when people look at our arena, they do look at the product that we have. And we got a great bang for the buck when we think about $276 million to build our arena when the American uh, Airlines Arena in um, in Dallas cost $400 million in 1999.